Hey everybody, welcome to Classroom Setup Day 6. It's another two or three hour working time in the evening, um, but I've got me a helper with me today that I think you all will be excited about. Joseph! There's a cake in my cake. Oh, he's saying cake because he remembers he had orange plates for his birthday party. Wow, you got a good memory. And he saw these <clears throat> and he said, Toys, Mama, Toys. So you want me to get these down for you? Yeah. Okay, can you say hi? Hi. Oh, no. Hi. Uh, hi. <laughs> okay. That's dangerous. <laughs> You're tripping on the, the same thing my mom did when we were trying to hang the brick wall. All right, I, I found a shorter ladder, so I did what I could with the borders with the short ladder, but thankfully the vice principal's here, and I was able to ask her if she knew where this one was, and we went to another classroom, and she helped me carry it down here. So now I got the big boy. I can do all of the tall things, so I'll try to get all the tall things done because we have only one ladder, you know, that's this tall for the whole building. So I'll do the top border. I'm, I'm not sure yet if I will put a border across here to divide for the tidal area. I, I don't know what to do up there yet, but I can hang my lights. And there was something else I needed for the tall ladder for, I think. Um, so anyway, I'll keep going on that. Having one thing that I can say is done is so satisfying. And I wanted to show you guys what I use to hang it up are these um, just push pins. And there's so many of them. And I got them on Amazon. I'll link them down below. They have them in silver also. But push pins are my favorite thing to use to hang border. Because, especially with this border, you don't have to worry about smashing the little design with your stapler and they're easy to do if you saw I don't know if you could tell from far away but I was up there and I was able to do it with one hand so I just brought me a stash up onto the top of the ladder so that meant I could hold the rest of the roll with my right hand and it's just so much easier and it looks so cool so you could do silver or gold and it looks really neat when you have borders like all layered and uh, you may have seen me do that in my last classroom. I fell in love with it. So I did it again. <sighs> so you should try it. Okay, so now I think I'm going to do the bistro lights. I have to find my squeeze clips. Um, and I thought of something else I need to do while I have the ladder, but I already forgot it. Oh, yes, I know this is like going to be tedious and time consuming but I really need to try to do some of it while I've got the ladder I mean I might be able to still have the ladder if I show up early in the morning but you know how it is everybody needs the ladder thankfully my whole school only has two new teachers so not everybody's gonna be needing the ladder as much as you know like if we had a whole bunch of new teachers oh, I really like that it looks so good Oh, you ready to do the lights, Joseph? Yeah. Yeah, you want to hang some lights? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think I have settled on hanging them in the middle here. I had thought about doing it clustered in the corner, but, but that's when I thought my desk would be here. But I really do think I want to move my desk, which means I'm going to have to just get a longer cord. But I think I want to put my desk over here, kind of like angled maybe, maybe not, maybe just straight. That way... We can use this whole board easily for morning meeting stuff and this whole board and I may end up like putting my keyboard, my piano uh, keyboard in the corner there or something. Alright, so I guess it kind of depends on 
uh, how far the cord is, where they're exactly going to hang. But I did like something about this, these lights is that it gives you a lot of length before the first bulb. So it looks like I'm going to have plenty to be able to get it over to the middle, but hopefully it's not an illusion. But they're really cool. You can like dim, they're like dimmable. It's got this remote. Well, Joseph was getting a little rowdy, so I filmed an ending, but now he's kind of calmed down, so I think I'm gonna do one more thing while I've got the ladder and hang this banner up there before I leave. And then we'll go, okay, sugar bug? <laughs> He's picking up the toy. So well, he's he's trying. Pick him back up, baby. There you go. Um, I moved one of the light bulbs up a little, just to try to make it look more messy instead of like symmetrical. So it looks good from some angles. <laughs> like it looks pretty good right here. It just looks so small in this huge room. Good job, baby. Oh, there's a few more. Um, that is so cute <laughs> and it's gonna be perfect because this is where I wanted to put the smiley face and it's gonna be like a big thing we talk about it's like my whole classroom management is going to be based on how this is our happy class and I'll talk to them on you know in a way that's easy for the kids to understand and I will say how can we keep our class happy and that will be an introduction into all the rules and all of this so I'm gonna put this right up there and it's weird how they put a hole in it but I can cover it up with one of these cute Oh my goodness, did y'all see me almost die? Ow, I'll scrape my foot. <laughs> but the smiley face looks good. <laughs> um, so, I could lower it a little. I wasn't sure once I got up there, but I think that looks good. And I think I'll put like, our happy class or our happy place. Miss Porter's happy class, I don't know. And I'm the, oh, a cricket. Ew, see that cricket started backing away. I might do the word happy with these and then the other letters. The other words just in black. Still gotta hang this. All right, it's too late. So I gotta go to bed, but I'm gonna go to bed happy with what I've done tonight. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Go get it. Go, go get, get what? Go get it. Go get what? Go get it. Oh. Go get it. There's a cricket over there. He wants me to go get it. All right, here's just an overview, kind of. These are all his toys. I'm just gonna leave them out for now. Love the way the front of the room is looking. I'm so glad everything is matching and coming together. So yeah, I'm thinking that's gonna be reading area, play area. Gotta take that off still. This will be my small group table. I'll have like a writing center here. And then I've got to add the stuff to my writing board. So excited about tomorrow. It's going to be like a whole new world when the AC is on. All right, you want to tell everybody bye-bye? Bye-bye. <laughs> See you next time. Hey, everybody. Welcome to my channel. This is Classroom Setup Day 7. And if you're new, my name is Sarah, and I'm a kindergarten teacher in Texas. I've never taught kindergarten before. I've taught first, and I've taught second. Both years were kind of abnormal years because they both were during COVID. And then the second year, I only taught a few months before adopting my son and deciding to stay home. And then I was a stay at home mom for three years and now I'm returning to the classroom. And I'm very excited, but I feel very rushed. <laughs> I'm just now really starting to get going in my classroom, but you can watch my previous setup videos if you haven't seen the others. 
and I'm excited. Um, there's probably going to be a lot of people in the classroom, not classroom, in the school today because uh, the AC is finally on and I don't think anybody has any meetings today so may, um, may have a lot of teachers to meet today because our school only has two new teachers so I feel like um, everybody's going to want to stop by and meet the new teachers, you know, as usual. Uh, and my room is a wreck, but I'm hoping to get it looking a lot better today. So I, it's like 11 14. I didn't want to get a too early start today. Me and Joseph were out late working on classroom setup day six last night. Um, so he's gone with babysitters, and um, I have an appointment at three, a doctor's appointment. So I've got a little bit of time, but um, I know today I'm going to be coming up with a lot of things that I need to be printing and cutting out and stuff. Uh, so I'm going to be making a list so I can get stuff done. I was going to print out some 10 frames for like the days of school, like how many days we've been in school. Um, but my electricity in my apartment is out this morning because they're replacing a transformer. So I couldn't get that printed, um, but that's okay. And I think I also have some more signs to print out that I got from Teachers Pay Teachers for like the bathroom rules like you know reminders to wash your hands and flush and all that kind of stuff um so there's still so much to do even at home that i could get done um i'm so excited though it's starting to look like a classroom i worked for a few hours last night and it's looking so good okay uh i'm gonna head that way I'm gonna hang up my hundreds chart poster and see it's like laminated kind of on the front but the back side isn't so I'm just gonna put a little strip of packing tape in the corners or wherever I want to use other tape <laughs> to stick it so that it like you know I can rem I can just always leave that packing tape there but remove like the tape or glue dot or whatever I'm gonna use and it won't mess up my poster. So they had a bunch of this in the workroom, which is nice. I love how this morning meeting board is coming together. I made sure to put stuff low enough, even though it's huge, for the kids to be able to help because eventually taking care of the calendar and stuff, that's gonna be jobs that I'm gonna have students do. Um, and I was needing one of these and it's so cool. I found one in my drawer. So I'm gonna use base 10 blocks to show the days um, of school. And the ones I usually use are yellow and I was like, well, that's not good because the background's yellow. But I found in my stash some that are uh, orange. The ones are still yellow, but the blues, the hundreds are blues and maybe I can come across some colored ones. Actually, I know I can because I have some colored ones mixed in those. Anyway, I'm loving how it looks and I'm using sticky clips to hang these since I'll be taking them down and switching them out. So I love sticky clips. If you haven't ever used them, you gotta try them. So cute. And I'm thinking I might do a border around this, but I'm not sure yet. I wanted to get everything else done first before I do that. Hey everybody, this is the next day, which I think makes it classroom setup day seven. <laughs> I'm losing track and um, I've got my mom here I've got Joseph with me 
and I've got my cute teacher earrings that were a gift from the other two kindergarten teachers. It's hot and my hair is getting crazy. I had trainings all day today, staff development, got to meet everybody and uh, it was a lot of fun but my brain is full and like overwhelmed like they they gave me like a huge like teacher checklist so I've got to put on my own list that I already had complete the teacher checklist so mom is finishing the brick it's gonna look so nice um, with that done I have started unboxing books and sticking them on a bookshelf in no particular order right now I'm just trying to get the tables cleaned off like I'm not even um I don't even have them all spine facing out. This is not how they're gonna be. I'm going to somehow categorize them. I don't have any bins though. I'm just gonna end up trying to use what I have until my first paycheck and I'll have me a good list of a few necessary things I need to get when I get paid and uh, like that. I also wanna get curtains. That's probably not gonna happen before meet the teacher night, but it's okay. <laughs> I've had a lot going on. Um, so this is how I have it set up right now so I'm working currently on just clearing the tables um, I, I got a lot of stuff hung up there I think I showed you that earlier in this video um, I'm not sure yet exactly what all is gonna go in here I need to clean this because it's filthy I've got a rug in here Joseph's been playing but got the cute little kitchen um, I found a little container of like all kinds of little food things, so that's cute. Um, let's see, we got our Chromebooks delivered today. And uh, there's the thing that's got all the little toys that he's playing with, like the little food things. Um, so this is just how I have it for now. And then over here is the little reading area. Um, give me your ideas, your help. I actually really, really like this shelf um this one i brought from home but uh, i'll have to search in my craft room where i got it for the little peg it's missing its peg so i don't really want to put anything on that right now on that top shelf i guess i could set like little stuffed animals or really lightweight decorative stuff for now i still have to wash the nugget because i forgot to bring the covers home do you think this is a good place for it i know it takes up a lot of space um I don't know. I, I didn't really want it up against the wall because I think that the bookshelf needs to be up against the wall. Um, I have another bookshelf like this. I just, if I bring it, I think I'll use it behind my desk um, for my stuff. And uh, just got a lot of little things which I can always just shove somewhere. My goal is just to get it looking better today so that when people come in tomorrow, they're not like, oh my goodness, she's way behind. <laughs> And some helpers are coming tomorrow. They're going to help move some stuff. Actually, me and mom could probably move it. Uh, but we're not staying long tonight because I need to rest. And I want to put together my dining table. Um, I don't know if I'll do it tonight or not. But um, I just wanted to get the tables cleared off, get the brick done um, while I got my helper. And I don't know tomorrow I think we have half a day is a work day so I can work in here and then I have a kindergarten training oh I found that piece you probably don't need it now I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay um, Joseph don't throw that uh, what was I saying oh we have a like a curriculum type of training we, we got a new curriculum so um it's called you fly so some of you've probably heard of that or use it if you do give me any tips or tell me if you like it that's what we're using for phonics um so we'll have that tomorrow from one to four yeah that's a scrap piece mom had saved before and it's been floating around the room <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm going to put my title up here with these letters. So after I finish with the tables, I'll punch these out. And I finished laminating. I had like a spare 10 minutes today during one of our breaks. And I ran in here and laminated these. So I'm going to put these up there. And oh my goodness, it's like a whirlwind. And I know my classroom isn't going to be like, you know, completely done when school starts. But that is perfectly fine with me. 
still want to put some kind of a title up there. Oh my goodness, it's hot. But I'm getting excited and slightly overwhelmed. <laughs> It is classroom setup day. I don't know, just way too close to meet the teacher. So, um, I think I'm gonna add this to what I already have. Maybe, I don't even know. I just know I have clips that I need to get edited for y'all, but by the time you see this, you've probably already seen that, so I need to quit rambling. Anyway, let me show you the state of my classroom. I've got mom here for a little bit and she's helping. So, I was here for hours yesterday, getting a lot done, a lot of it was like organizing cabinets I had a helper here um, helping me out for a long time like a volunteer and uh, the cabinets got all cleaned out washed out and a little bit more organized let me show you so I'm at the back of the room and here's what it's looking like right now um, I had to go on a hunt with the vice principal to find more chairs so we got yellow which I think looks cute um, and so I took two tables out of here because I had way too many tables. And I got to borrow these stools from what used to be like a science lab. They're a little tall for this table, but the vice principal said it's fine. They can turn sideways and we can try to locate more chairs or whatever. I've got floor cushions on the way that I ordered for this sitting table. Mom helped me bring this bookshelf in. And I've got the other bookshelf over here. She is <laughs> losing these little <laughs> bingo balls all over the place. She's trying to get rid of all the numbers I don't need. So there's one number, you know, per student. And this is how I pick out, you know, instead of like fairness sticks or whatever you call them. Um, here is my board. My battery is about to die, of course. I do have a backup ready though. Sticky clips are failing me. Um, it might be because I fiddled with them way too much when I was, you know, trying to adjust everything. So I've got to figure that out. Um, here is my desk. I have a cord that is longer also being shipped. It'll probably be here literally the first day of school, but that's okay. Um, I have a teacher who said I could maybe borrow hers because she doesn't actually need the length that she has. Um, I'm not sure about the table layout yet. I know this one's not going to go here. It's probably going to turn or something, but I do know I need an aisle here and I need an aisle here because there are some, some kids will be coming in to use this bathroom because they're little kids and their bathroom is like way too far. So they said, just be prepared. You might have some kids trickle in every now and then. I got border up around this. This is going to be my sound wall. We got a new curriculum called UFLY. Um, it's University of Florida Literacy Institute is what that stands for. And so it, it comes with the sound wall stuff that they already printed for me. Um, one day it'd be so cool to make my own or maybe somebody has made cute ones on TPT to go with UFLY because they're just kind of, you know, white with red, red lips. <laughs> um, I added the pencil to this. I'm hoping to get a title up here. The school has a cricket, I found out. So maybe I can cut out some black letters today. This stuff, it won't take me but like two minutes to find a place for that. I'm gonna stick it in the cabinets. I've got crafty stuff that I found. And here's some like centers and some math stuff. That's still kind of a chaotic mess. Um, I'm gonna hang some LED lights today, hopefully. These right here that I was gifted. And I better put this camera down and get busy. All right, it is the night before meet the teacher night. And I wanted to show you these little cushions. Hopefully they work out good. Premium chair pads. So they're like, you know, meant for chairs and they're really grippy right here. So they're Gorilla Grip brand. Um, and they're washable. Just put them in the washing machine um, with no heat, it says. And so I thought these would be good for my little floor table over here. Um, Hopefully they are. Sorry, I've got to kind of keep an eye on Joseph. Don't break that baby. Put that back. That's mom. Thank you. He just went, okay. Uh, that's for the light. <laughs> he just turned my lights off. <laughs> he found a remote. Anyway, so these, and I want to show you some wish list gifts that I got. All right, I'm going to show you guys some wish list gifts that I got. <laughs> um, hopefully I can. Joseph was just 
I think he's like done and ready to go. Um, so I'll be quick. So first I got these Mercy Watson books, which uh, were recommended to me because I said, what kind of books do kindergartners love? So I didn't realize that these are like thick, like chapter books. So I'll probably just read them to the class. I'm not sure yet. Like it's so hard for me to uh, let them use them, but at the same time I want them to be able to if they can. But I mean, most of them probably won't be able to read these at first. I'm not sure I haven't, they're new to me. I haven't looked at them. Um, but anyway, I'm so excited because I, I'm glad that I have a, a series started because a lot of my books are just, I want to like organize them into book bins, but I don't have a lot of like the same type of book, you know? Um, so the note says, I hope your kinders enjoy these as much as mine did. Okay. Well, I don't know if you can have those baby. Um, this is my first year not teaching after 10 years in the classroom. That's got to feel weird. Even still, I've found joy in helping another teacher start their year. God bless from Rachel Clow. I'm, I'm assuming that's how you say your last name, but I could be wrong. Thank you so much, Rachel. That is so sweet. And that's got to be crazy not teaching after 10 years. No, no, baby. I have some 409 sitting over there and he's wanting to spray it so bad. Good job, baby. I know. Um, but thank you. I'm excited. And they are so cute. I'm excited. I'm going to, I need to just bring one of these home and read it. Oh, look. I cannot wait to read these to the kids. It, they look like they're going to be so cute. Like a pig as the main character. Ah, oh, that new book smell is so nice. And guys, it is hot in here. I think it was like 104 when I arrived. And it was like... I don't know, six something in the evening. Um, but these are gonna go up on that shelf with my other read aloud books. Thank you again, Rachel. That was so, so sweet of you and it helps me out so much. Um, and it just makes me so excited. And Ellen Bailey sent me these stickers, which I could use for numbering. I could use them with my books, different things. I'm gonna have to go follow Joseph and clean after him because he's looking at the books right now. <laughs> but thank you, Ellen. She also got me um, this lanyard and also one that looks like a pencil. So cute. And some sit spots that are black. But I had to open them the other day because I was in here working and I was just, um, I think I made an Instagram about it. Um, and then I got some what are they called? Um, laminating pouches. Oh, I love them. The five, um, the five mil ones that are nice and thick, but I left them at home because I was afraid they'd stick together in my car. Plus that's where I use them the most is at home. I'll do laminating while I'm doing whatever. Um, but those and these nice plastic orange folders, like I had in my first class and these fun decorative paper edge scissors, they all came from Andrea Ottinger, thank you so much. These are so exciting because like in kindergarten, they get to practice cutting and they get to do lots of like crafty things, which I'm so excited about. I cannot wait to tell you guys about our schedule. It's like so different the first grade. I feel like this year is gonna be, once I figure stuff out, I think it's gonna be a breeze and I think it's going to be relaxing and so much fun. I really think the amount of stress is going to be like totally different than it was my other two years. I'm just really, really thankful for this job and this school. It's, it's a really nice school. Okay, so these I got today and um, they are, I got two sets of little Play-Dohs. Look how cute. They're like the perfect size. So I got two of these and I just want to smell one. And you know what? When the kids are playing Play-Doh, I'll probably be playing with them. Because it's just the best way to get to know them. You know, like on the first day, just sit and play Play-Doh with them. Mm, nice. Brings back memories. <laughs> nice and fresh Play-Doh. And that is from Leah Atkinson. Thank you, Leah. And I got two. So, and I found some Play-Doh toys in one of the cabinets here, like a whole tub of Play-Doh toys. So we're gonna have lots of fun with Play-Doh this year. Okay, so I'm gonna put these things away, kinda declutter, and then I'll show you guys what the room looks like. It finally is looking like a classroom, and it's finally to a point where I'm like, I can make it work for me the teacher night, but I have all day tomorrow 
before 4.30 to just do final touches, like organizing the books in the library. Uh, that's like one of the main things I have left to do before meet the teacher. So thank you all so, so much. It's so exciting every time now, like when I get home and I see a package, I'm just like, it makes my day. I love it. I'm about to try these rug grippers on this little one for sure. And I, I, found, I found another rug in a tub and I didn't know what to do with it. I was gonna put it in front of the sink, but like I kind of think it could be a little place where a kid could sit with a clipboard. Like I could put a little something over there to make it more comfortable eventually. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, and look guys, I put lights under there and they're changing colors. Okay, I have to show y'all. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> uh, I cut these little squares into, I cut the squares into triangles because this is such a little rug. And I just stick them in the corners. And look, I've already done that side and I'm pulling on the rug and it is not moving. So it's, it actually like, it doesn't just grip, it like, Sticks, but I mean it's not like sticky in a way that's gonna leave residue it doesn't seem like it's just very gummy he is throwing that stamp around and having the time of his life oh my goodness it's like I'm not even here he's just crawling on me all right and so I centered it with the little couch and I've been scrubbing the couch I was oh, I'm trying to talk Sorry guys, he's loud. I've been scrubbing the couch tonight with 409 and Mr. Clean Magic Eraser because it was absolutely disgusting. Like, it was more green than blue, it seemed like, and now it's like glowing. It looks so good. I love Magic Erasers. I will link these because I already can tell I love that because I wanted this rug here, but I was like, that's so dangerous, but it's, it's not moving. So that's pretty cool. Look. What, baby? Look, Mama. What? Look. What? Look. We gotta hurry and kind of finish up and get out of here, baby. I'm tired. All right. So here's how I'm going to leave the classroom the night before meet the teacher. <laughs> um, so here's the door. I I, uh, I haven't put any kind of decoration really on the door. Um, computer carts. Nope, put that back, baby. We're gonna about to go bye-bye. Got the counter all cleaned off. I'm gonna see if I have some greenery and stuff at home. If I can remember to grab it in the morning. I may not because, um, man, I need to go home and get ready to go to bed. Oops, I forgot to move that. Um, but it's nice and clean. And I have read-alouds there. Here's the front of the room. This is temporary. I don't, um, I ordered a longer cord and it's coming, I think, the day school starts. But I'm gonna move my computer over here um, and I'm gonna borrow somebody else's longer cord until I get my cord. Um, I lowered these and I went ahead and took the sticky clips off because like the heat was like melting the wax or something. They kept like sliding around and it was a waxy mess. I just went ahead and I lowered them so they look more even with that a little bit and stapled them because when the AC kicks on, it also kind of blew them around. But I still love sticky clips. They work for so many things. It just wasn't working in that situation. So I love this board. I love how it turned out. Um, I, when I stapled those, I think I scooted them closer together. Hey, Joseph, be careful, baby. Get down. Get down. Thank you. Um, because there's more space here than there is there now. <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> but look, I hung the smileys and the little pinwheel things that I found, and they look so cute. Porter's happy class, and if I want to, I could use a marker and write Miss, but I just, I haven't, so I think I'm just going to leave it like that for now. And here's my little desk area. I love it. He is chattering away. Um, these are some things that I need to laminate, but for some reason when I turn the laminator, but like push the power button, it didn't come on, so there must be some trick to it. I don't know. 
I found this document camera. I'm guessing I'm going to need that, so I stuck that there. And mm, that needs some work. But that's not a chair, baby. Are you okay? You're all right. That's not a chair. It's okay. He is, he's tired. It's not a chair, sweetie. Hey, can you put that back from me? That's my uh, wireless mic. Go put that back for Mama. This has some kids' names on it. It's back to school gifts that my team is doing. It's little keychains, uh, like beaded keychains to hang on their backpack. I've got posters. I went ahead and picked out, ooh, oh, I need to measure before I leave, but I think I found the right size. But I picked out some curtains and they're on my wish list. Um, and I've got like orange and pink. And I'm thinking orange, pink, orange, orange pink orange and they have little like um pom-pom thingies on the edges and it might would be cute to pull the pink one you know like to spread the pink one possibly oh no i've got to hurry he's loud this is the area that if i focus on anything tomorrow baby baby what do you need help with oh we'll go pick it up in a minute i know you didn't mean to knock it over we'll pick it up in a minute i'm showing everybody our, our my classroom that you helped me with so if I work on anything tomorrow, this is the main thing because I just have books stuck here and I don't think I want to have all the books out all the time. Um, but for Meet the Teacher, what I'll probably do is just flip them all to where they're spine facing out because right now they're not. Um, but I love the little posters. I put them down low. I level with the kiddos. And look, I found this nugget. I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, but perfectly good nugget out in the portable. And so I'm exchanging that with the gray one because look how perfectly it matches the rug that Ellen gave me. Beautiful. I love it. I'm not sure about this here. It might be kind of an obstacle. I just, I don't know where to put it right now. So I'm open to any ideas, guys. Um, the back, I was just like, oh, I just need some color. So I'll put that up there and it turned out cute, I think. I need to get a battery because I dropped this. It's got fairy lights in it. I dropped it and I guess the battery rolled somewhere and I haven't found it yet, but I don't know what I'm doing back here yet, but I thought I need some color and some fun back here. I dusted most of this, but tomorrow another thing that I need to do is just clean. Like around the door, the frame is all disgusting, so I need to clean that. Um, if I have time, I'm not going to make myself get all crazy sweaty tomorrow, but the AC should be on, so that'll help. We wiped off all the tables, except, oh, I need to rewipe this one. I forgot. I saw something on there that we missed. Scrub with the yellow chairs. I haven't scrubbed with the blue ones. I hope to either tomorrow night or the next day. Scrub an all the green chair. Um, what, baby? I know. Here's what the floor cushions look like. They kind of go really well with this rug. Also, these are neat. They come in different colors. I've got my three-tiered cart. Over here, a volunteer helper built it for me while I was at a training. And so it's going to use my little small group stuff. There's that third poster. So I really love this. I really love the stools. And I, I worked a little in here the other day. Um, so it looks a lot better, but I haven't even begun the cabinets. So, um, and then here's some stuff up here. This stuff belongs to like the school purchases and I'm going to try to keep my stuff separate until I can find me a Sharpie to write my name on it. Um, the closet had a pretty good clean out the other day because there was a bunch of like stuff in there that me and the first grade teacher didn't want. So we got it taken to the portable for us. Tomorrow I also need to get, and if I don't do it before meet the teacher night, it's fine, but I need to use the school's Cricut. It's so cool that they have a Cricut and I'm just going to cut out either writing or handwriting um i'm thinking of just doing writing and then maybe hanging some more smileys or something because it's not well i mean i could do handwriting like this is handwriting letters but i'm also going to hang those um pencil grip posters over here somewhere either above i'm probably actually going to hang them down low where the kids can see them um and i love the lights poor baby he is just going crazy over there but anyway love the led lights and i still have this is only one string and it came with another it's not really a string but it came with another roll but to use that roll i have to buy another power thingy um so i put that on my wish list as well but whenever i do have it i will connect it and i will probably put them 
I'm guessing around the whiteboards. Um, it would be so cool to have a third one to go around this too so everything matches. Um, but I, what's really gonna bring everything together is gonna be the curtains because the orange that I chose is, it looks a lot like, I mean, it looks like it's gonna match really well with this orange, kind of like a burnt orange, like not super, super vibrant. I also, oh my goodness, I should never have left this whenever I stayed home with Joseph for the long-term sub because the kids like destroyed it and my students knew not to touch this chair and um it, like I guess at some point they just forgot the rules after I was gone but it was kind of a crazy time back then so I'm gonna try to hot glue it I don't know unless there's some other kind of glue you guys recommend but the only thing I have right now and ready is hot glue it's okay are you gonna fix it for me I really, really love how this board came out. I was worried about it for a little while. Um, but I added calendar because I had some more of these letters. I really love them. There was enough letters to do that. And Porter's Happy Class, so that was good. Oh, and I didn't show you up close. This is how I decided to hold the little base tin blocks. I just used, I had a, so many of these pens that um, I received as a gift from my wish list. And I just poked them through these containers that I don't use anymore. And I have just... 10 ones and I think 10 of these and I know I only need one but I put two and so uh, it's so cool I'll just have to tell them just to be gentle when they grab them and I also did the same thing over here for the season and weather poster just it's got three and it's I mean it's pretty sturdy so I think I have the I have one more of these arrows that I need to cut out I've got a few more thank Joseph Thomas <gasps> pick those up I already told you you're not supposed to do that. I got to get this boy home. <laughs> but here's an overview. And so I think it looks pretty good. This is a little bland. But, you know, over time I'll come it, I'll come up with things to put there. This will be a sound wall. Um, so that's why it's blank right now. Um, I do have a little, like, garland thing that was in my old class above the door. Like, um, burlappy looking. It's just a short one. So I'm not sure where I'm going to hang it yet. I could hang it like up there or something. It's kind of short. But that's pretty much all the decoration stuff that I have left. Um, I don't know if they're going to clean tomorrow or if I need to sweep up this stuff. So I'll figure that out in the morning. I don't even want to look at myself in this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm like, I'm surprised I haven't had a heat stroke. Um, we have our staff pictures at 8.30 in the morning, and I've got to get Joseph to his babysitter. He's been doing so great at the babysitter, so I've got to get him there first. And then I have a couple from church who's going to pick him up from the babysitter um, at 4. And meet the teacher night is at 4.30 to 6. So tomorrow we're going to be stuffing folders for the parents. I'm going to be setting up my sign-in table outside the door and putting little stations around like for things you know so that all the parents won't be at one table at one time you know for them to get all their stuff and there's supposed to be a slideshow that i'm supposed to show which is why i had to plug the computer in and i guess it's all the info i have for you right now so it, hopefully i'll be able to show you guys what's in the um, meet the teacher night folder even though it's probably too late for you guys to use the idea i still want to show you um, but there's lots of stuff that I could do throughout the year that I'm thinking right now I'll do, but I probably won't. You know how that goes. Um, just little things like I need to do some more cleaning. I was scrubbing back here, getting paint off and Scentsy Wax that somebody had. Um, so anyway, I've got more cleaning to do. Speaking of Scentsy Wax that somebody spilled, this is a Scentsy product too. And I'm going to put my little plug in here because, oh, not plug, but... I'm advertising because I sell Scentsy and I can put the link down below, but these are great for classrooms. They're wall fan diffusers and they're tough plastic. You push a button and it instantly turns on and listen. It's, it's very quiet and um, I don't have the pods in there yet, but I, I'll show you. So I love those wall fan diffusers because you don't have to worry about spilling wax. And so this is what Oh my gosh, she's so loud. This is what the pods look like. And each one says it lasts up to 120 hours of fragrance. And um, this is black raspberry vanilla. And so they just have little scented bead thingies in there. I don't know if you can 
can tell. And they smell so good. Oh my goodness, they smell so good. Anyway, so like a pack is $10, but you can do like a bundle and save a little. Uh, and I think the diffuser is 25, I think, but it'll last you forever. And it's cool because it can hold one pod or if you want way stronger scent, you can do two or you can mix scents like you do, you know, two different ones. So it's pretty cool. And I'm excited to have that on because I know everybody's going to walk in and they're going to be like, your room smells so good. And I'm going to be like, you got a Scentsy consultant? <laughs> anyway, that's the classroom. I love it. I hope you guys do too. And I got to get that boy to bed and get me a shower and get in bed. And Well, he's got to have a bath too. We still got a ways. <laughs> we still got a time ahead of us um, before we can go to bed. All right. Oh. Glad I saw this. I gotta turn my Scentsy off and my lights. Hello. Hello. Say bye bye. Bye bye. You gotta put those up, baby. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.